Good morning, everyone. We're going to continue our journey discussing all things red flag related. So to start with, I just want to say thank you. You guys are so freaking smart. I mean, looking at the answers for the question of would you date someone who has declared that they cheated on the first date, you know, your answers are on point. It's up to you at the end of the day as to whether or not you do it. And it's completely 50-50. And to add to that too, if we look at the second question I asked, which is, is cheating a warning light or a red flag? It could be completely either or, but it's up to you to determine how you feel about it. I would never pass a moral judgment. If you feel like it's bad, don't go there. It's as simple as that. So let's continue talking about this topic of red flags and warning lights with regards to something that might not necessarily feel like that. But first I wanna share a personal story about a situation where I have actually dated a guy who declared to me on date two that he'd cheated on his partner of six years. So here's how the story went. On date one, I could tell I was very much into this guy. He was talking a lot about his past, about how upset he was that he'd lost his boyfriend of six years. And though I didn't go in looking for a long-term relationship, I said to him at the start, listen, I know I came into this looking for friends with benefits, but I've got to be honest, I like you. And that means that I cannot be friends with you. It means that I cannot do friends with benefits with you. It's either a long-term relationship or nothing. Would you be interested in the possibility of seeing whether or not we could make this into a long-term relationship? And he fortunately, he at the time, he said, yeah, he'd be into that. Now on date two, when he mentioned to me that he cheated on his ex, I kept that in the back of my mind and was like, right, I'm gonna remember that for future reference. And rather than worrying so much about the possibility of whether he was gonna cheat again, what it actually allowed me to do was to see him with a clearer picture and be like, oh good, I get a general idea as to who this guy is. And the reason that's important when dating is that if we only see a person in one light and we think they're amazing, it blinds us to the other parts of their behavior, which is not okay. This guy would eventually go on to prove to me that he was childish, rude to waiters, hot and cold. And when I looked at all the, you know, the ways it was making me feel, it made it easier to let go of him, despite the fact that we'd made such a strong start and were really good for the first month. So my moral of this story is this. The warning lights and the red flags are there to help you to determine how you feel and what you need to do in order to fix that. Now we're going to talk about red flag or warning light number two, oversharing on the first couple of dates. Now let me explain what I mean by this. Oversharing is when you want to talk about, you know, the troubles you've had growing up, you know, how hard it's been living with your family, how hard it's been to come out to people, how difficult it's been in your last relationship, the fact that your partner was so controlling, the fact that your partner was so needy and so difficult. And I don't mean to satirize this or be sarcastic. <clears throat> they may have had a shit childhood, bad relationship, you know, all these kinds of problems in the past. Their partner may have walked out on them and it's devastated them. But you are not their therapist. You are not there to be the perfect solution to all their problems. You cannot fix this person. You cannot be there to save them. So my question to you is, is oversharing a red flag or a warning light? 